Hey guys, it's a quick hot weather consideration or tip video. Um, I'm actually at splash pad with my sons right now, and this is one of the things, a tip tricks I utilize while I'm here. Um, I learned this, I'll, I'll go over it. I learned this from um, a book I read, a, a military memoir I read when I was younger, Seven Troop. It's about a SAS trooper, Andy McNabb. A lot of controversy around him with the Bravo 2-0 book and what happened in Iraq during the first Gulf War. But the other portions of his book about his time in the SAS is, is pretty spot on from other guys that serve with him writing. Um, this, this comes from the section when he is in Oman in 1985 during um, a training, rotation, whatnot. Uh, they were they're practicing in the desert in Oman. Um, and his troop, they called themselves the Ice Cream Boys because what they would do is after their halo training jumps or whatnot that they would do, they would uh, take one of the motorbikes that they had loaded on the back of their C-130 and they would go find a village or a settlement to get ice cream. And so then they would ride the motorbike back and on the back of it would be a small cooler and they needed to figure out a way to keep the ice cream from melting while they're driving back to their, their one, C-130 um, that's parked in the desert waiting to take off and, and jump again, right? So um, their trick was to wrap it, wrap the cooler in wet sh um, schmogs, schmog, schmags, um, the, the Arab head scarf, right? So that was their trick was to wrap it because what happens when you have uh, a wet, especially it's cotton, not necessarily fleece, but if you have a wet cotton um, fabric wrapped around something in excessive heat, in Oman is in the desert, it's in the Middle East. So with the excessive heat in Oman, what, it, what happens is it's called an endothermic reaction where the water, as it's evaporating off of the cotton, cools. It's pulling the heat off of the cooler and it keeps the cooler itself cool, thus keeping the stuff inside it cool. So it almost acts like a mini, it's almost, it's like an ex, almost a mini external refrigerator. And um, I've been using it for years. I mean, I read that book when I was you know, in middle school, maybe a freshman in high school. And I, I did it in the Navy. I didn't really have much use for it because of where I was, it wasn't hot. You know, in Washington State, it doesn't get too terribly hot, but um, I have utilized it a lot here living in El Paso in the Southwest, wrapping around our coolers, um, whether it's a hard plastic cooler or it's a styrofoam cooler, I've utilized it. Um, to, to keep the cool and it does it really you can feel it after about 15 minutes of it sitting especially if you're in the sun you can feel the towel drying and you can feel the towels warmer than the cooler like it, it's it, it, it's very interesting it works I've I've done it so that's that's the hot weather consideration is utilizing uh, you know a cold or it doesn't necessarily have to be cold but a wet towel to wrap around your coolers and it, it causes like a, it creates like a mini refrigerator uh, through the endothermic reaction that happens where the evaporating water pulls heat away from the cooler and helps keep the cooler cool and the and thus the stuff inside staying cool for for longer than not having it so there you go just a little tip I was actually rereading seven troop a few weeks ago and I wanted to just I guess do a little demonstration or just kind of show this little trip, uh, tip technique or whatever. So there you go. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you found it uh, informative, especially with the heat wave we're going through. I mean, I've been doing this every day since we've um, started coming to the splash pad this summer and it, it keeps everything in the cooler cool. It, it, it helps, it really does. Uh, obviously, like wrapping a wet towel around your head. It's the exact same endothermic reaction it helps pull the heat away from your head and keeping your head cool. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Have a great day.